Hello, and welcome to another quick look. Me, Game of Six, of another furry visual novel. This one, Amoris. Game, it's pretty decent, but it just has a problematic uh, creator. That being Jason FX. If you know anything about the furry fandom, you know about him. Anyways, let's start. Uh, yeah, new game. And they put SFW on, so let's see if that works. Pretty much everyone loves the coast. Clear blue skies above. The crystal clear waters of the shoreline. Also, I think this game is free. I know it's on Steam. Something like that. Anyways. Oh, it just auto-skips. Okay, can we roll back? Oh, guess not. Whatever. Don't get me wrong. This is the place to be if you want slim girls, hunky guys, and QS tourists on the spectrum between the those two. It's a hot spot, holiday destination for anyone willing to uh, pay for the tranquility of an ocean breeze, with the occasional slap on the ass. Oh yeah, and I guess if you want me to play this game, tell me, and still put it on the list, and give it a point. Like, I... Maybe I'll play this game? I don't know. It does have definitely NSFW, although I guess all of them do. But, yeah, I only did this because somebody was like, Hey, you should play this game. I was like, yeah, okay. Again, it's not bad, it's just the creator is a bit problematic. Anyways. Next. Do I have to hit the... Okay, it's space bar. It does wear thin when this is all you have ever known. The beach gets gradually less interesting. The more you see it, the constant barrage of skimpy, skimpy trunks, lacy bikinis, and a culture that embraces its liberal sexuality. The, I suppose I can see why it's such a big deal for outsiders. Maybe I'm a little spoiled. I guess I'm just a bit of a stick in the mud. The school and work has always gone the way, you know? Anyway. There's more to life than trying to hook up with everyone in your senior year. Okay. Which is kind of odd, because, like, I know this... I've played this game a couple of times before. You basically go on three dates, fucking, and that's it. And I feel like... I don't know. It kind of feels like the main character's just out to get some ass. Anyways. Never ever found the time to date after graduation. Drifting apart from friends, but a different mindset. I see enough of that at home for my libido-driven brother. Beep beep, motherfucker. Beep beep. Yeah. A sweet serenade of the alarm going off. Again. Time to get up and face reality. I'm beginning to wonder why I keep setting it in the first place. Also, it's 11 o'clock. Seriously, dude. It feels like every morning, that's not morning, I sleep past my wake-up call a little longer. I guess it's pretty easy when there's nowhere you're expected to be in, in an hour. 11 a.m. At least I can still consider it breakfast if I get up now. My motivation seems like it's extra low this week, Saturday morning. And it feels like the middle of the week still. Is there a way I can make this thing go by a bit quicker? What's normal? Oh. Yeah, it's a bit better. Oh wait, I just remembered. Cody invited his friends over today. Watching him get all touchy-feely gets kind of weird with them being furries and all, you know? Considering we still share a bedroom. Why do you still share a bedroom? God, I'd hate that. Yeah, screw that. I'm gonna pretend I'm asleep while they swap saliva. At least, he's over at their place most of the time. If I'm quick, I can dodge a bullet and sneak out of the house before having to say hi. So far, so good. No sound of anyone while I was in the kitchen. I grab... Wait, I grab a shower when I get back. I can grab a shower. I can read. Though, I guess I still didn't work at, out where... I'm going after the escape plan. I may as well design that now. Well, none of this is the point, but anyways, uh, you know, hand out more resumes, even though that I feel like that's pointless. I mean, getting a job, very, you know, 
it, it's important, but I feel like these days you don't get a job by, you know, throwing out resumes. Anyways, if I hadn't been called by now, they probably aren't going to call back. I may as well hit up as many places as possible. At least, then, I'll have more of a case when Dad starts giving me that look again. I only have my original copy left, though. I n I'm going to head down to the post office and print some copies. I should take that shower now so I can t look the part when I walk into these places. Wait, you actually walk into... You don't do it on the internet? I want to try to make the right impression at least. Hi, there's my ray of sunshine. You're looking chipper this morning. Damn it, Cody. Give me a heart attack, why don't you? I didn't even know you're home already. Where where the hell are your clothes? Don't tell me you and your boyfriend are already doing it in my bedroom. Hey, that's not very nice. Can't a little brother say good morning? Anyway, it's our bedroom. Don't forget. Just in case uh, you're in there all the time doesn't mean it's yours all day. Yeah, I guess it's the... Uh, I get that part. But the only time I see you is when you're getting bonked by some dude you just met. Excuse me for being a little brother, a little bitter. Especially when I'm trying to sleep and all that, and all I can hear is bed squeaks and bird squawks. Is he in there now? Spend the... Uh, and uh, sleeping like a kitten, I'm... Wait, is he in there now? Spent and sleeping like a kitten, I bet. I might need to grab a few things. For your information, it's just you and me at home. Okay, so I'm gonna fuck my brother. I think he's a stepbrother? I mean, I'd hope. Yeah. Okay, I do have my art guitar there. It was a real pain to get this game working for some reason. That's why I'm in my underwear. Don't you ever walk around the house naked when you know no one's watching? I mean, I would, but there's almost always someone home. Always, I hate out the fact that I have a bathroom. I mean, I have my own bathroom, but it's... You have to walk through the house to get to there. You do it even when I'm around to, to see corpses. Anyway, yeah, my friend, he isn't here. Yeah, friend. When... Uh, when's he getting here, then? I just want to know how long I have in the bathroom to... The bathroom myself before you get... In, being thrown up against the glass. He isn't coming at all. He dumped me this morning via text. Bitch move. Whoa, that's off, man. What jerk way to do it. I was wondering, can I spend the day with you? To cheer me up, I mean. He seemed like a nice guy from when I met him. Sorry, Cody. You wanna hang out? Let me think for a sec. You caught me right when I was, when I was going to do something. Make time for Cody. Hey, hey uh, cheer up, okay? We're gonna do something fun together, and you can put that douchebag behind you. Well, not behind you, but you know what I'm trying to say. I knew I could count on you. You're always there for me. Uh, we hardly spend time together these days now. Well, you're hardly home. When you're not working, you're crashing at a friend's place. Probably up to not good. Probably up to no good as usual. If you want me around more, you should fuck me, brother. I mean, you coulda just told me. Remember when you used to share a queen-size bed together? You couldn't just sleep unless you I cut it up next to you. Come on, that was a year ago. Plus, it'd be weird now. We aren't kids anymore. Doesn't exactly change much to me. Speaking of sharing beds, is there anyone you've been bringing home? Are they cute? You certainly seem tired out uh, when I get home. What? I just, I'm just saying. Don't tease. You know, I haven't seen anyone in that way since high school. Er, eh, even then, I never really uh, took my relationship seriously. You don't have to take them seriously to have fun and enjoy yourself. That getting frisky is probably why you've been so mopey lately. Yeah, it could be like that sometimes. I'm not mopey. Pent up then? I mean, I masturbate every day. It do be like that sometimes. It's not that. It's just, not working for a few weeks kind of gets me down all. I'm gonna have to sell some things soon to afford rent. Oh god, your parents make you pay rent? That sucks. You should have told me you're feeling down. Hey, don't worry about stuff, about that stuff this week, okay? I'll cover the rent for this week of spending time with me. The way you say that makes it sound like a jerk who needs to uh, be compensated for 
or spending time with my stepbrother. I love you, Cobes. I'm it's just seeing you with boyfriends all the time. Well, I can't seem to find anyone for myself. It's a little frustrating. Hey, it's no sweat off my back. You cover my butt plenty of times when you were working. It's a shame you got laid off, though. You seem like you're you're good at that. Couldn't really help that. They downsized the whole department. You know, maybe I should pull my screen back because it, it's a little kind of hard and I don't know why because I just turned my head slightly to read from all the way over there to all the way over there. I don't know. Yeah, it sucks. But you don't like me bringing friends around whilst you're home. I'll stop inviting them if it's going to frustrate you. No, I love it when you're here. It's just, it gives me pent up hearing you moan and it's not for me. Oh, I see you. You finish school. You're out of the house most of the time. Working and love life, exploring your sexuality, and here I am, back at square one, it do be like that. Huh, I was wondering if I should bathe the day, being the uh, big decisions. Ah, oh, you're too sweet. You're not that far behind. You just need a kickstart, and you'll be back on twack. I can't really help you with job hunting, but now that you and me are going into town tonight and check out the clubs tonight, how about we do that? I could use a fresh start myself, especially after this morning. Oh, I can't use my keyboard. Boop. I didn't say I spend time, spend the day with you. What harm could it do? I, if it gets boring, will go to the movies or do something else instead. Awesome. You'll have a ton of fun. Trust me. Anything you want to do together in the meantime? I picked up the, I picked the nighttime activity, and you get the daytime. Okay, the daytime is butter fucking. Hmm, let me think. Give a sec. Uh, just to think of something fun. Well, first I need to pick an avatar, don't I? Uh, video game. I think hanging out in the bedroom is fucking. I'm not sure. Oh, it's gonna be fun for a while. We can. Can you play a co-op game? I'll have to go easy on your butt this time for being nice to me. It was the first time myself and Cody have. A dedicated day to each other for as long as I could remember. We seem to have become distant during high school and kind of stuck that way ever since. Maybe this club thing wouldn't be so bad after all. I hadn't even thought about meeting people outside of work or school for a while. I put an on easy two-player game that we could both play together. He loved platformers, but wasn't very good at them. On the other hand, he would woo me easily in most fighting games. He leaned on me in-game, just like he did physically on the sofa. Even though he was having difficulty, I could tell he was enjoying himself. It wasn't long until he convinced me to throw on competitive games. We started a recent shooter, giving him a gentle nudge in the ribs every time I caught him spying on my side of the screen. He was better at those games, almost winning as much as I did. I was glad that our parents were out when it... Uh, when it turned to playful verbal abuse. We had just enough time squeezing a few rounds at his favorite fighting game. I have no idea when he became so good at them. No matter what character he picked, he seemed to know why he was going uh, what he was going far better than me. What he was doing far better than me. He was actually using special moves and combos. I was stuck spamming moves I knew randomly and hoping for the best. I never was good at fighting games. It gave me a big hug before we point out the time. If we wouldn't go out tonight, we had to get ready soon. Hey, can I use the shower for now? Or are you gonna make me climb in there with you? It's all yours. By the way, what should I be wearing to this thing anyway? Is there a theme? I don't want, I mean, I don't want to have to wear that, do I? If you want to go out just in underwear, I'll be your wingman. Wingman, get it? Cause boy, it's. But really, I wear. No, wait, wear whatever you want. This place is very flexible. Dress code has. Take your time and pick out something nice while I'm uh, there. Okay. Hey, on a side note, can I borrow the towel? I didn't bring mine over. Can't use your other one. There's like five of them in there. That's uh, that's one of my favorite color. Plus, you're practically dry now anyway. I'll let you off the hook this time. Better swoon uh, better swoon me off my feet when I'm back. I'll 
leave the bathroom door open just uh, just slur, just in case you need me. I'm sure I can dress myself. Go get cleaned up. We should get going soon. Alright, knowing Kobe, he's gonna be in there for ages. I have plenty of time to get ready. Now, it's just a matter of figuring out where to start. Character customization? Well, I'll have to uh, maybe censor some stuff, but it do be like that sometimes. Also, is this guy the um, person who's dating? I mean, like, there's a poster, there's a kangaroo. Behind main character is the picture of them together, and then there's a badge. Which I would think that would be the th person. Anyways, I'm not going to spend too much time here, because this ain't Skyrim. And, you know, this is the main play. Um, let's go. There you go, close enough. And it ain't NSFW. Though, can I make myself black? Being a white guy, I always wanted to be black. And close enough. It is kind of weird that this game is like, hey, you get to have all this character customization, but you never see the main character's face. At most you see just this area, and even if you make the genitals like a slit or something like that, and you know, give boobs and stuff like that, you're always a dude. I feel like that's a bit of a cop out. But it do be like that sometimes. Anyways, are we done? Back to prologue? Uh. Yes, because it doesn't matter. Hey, let's go the blank slate. Did you know? Did you move the conditioner? Mine ran out. I, you could sh Whoa, wait, did you just change your physical appearance? Oh, so that's FA on there, on the laptop. Do you mind? Uh, just letting it hang out while you're looking for an outfit, huh? Well, for reference, if you can't came up to me like that and asked me out, I'd be all for that. Damn, you're so gay. Har har. I know, you're not used to getting dressed, Cobes, but you tend to need to strip down to put on a few clo a few clothes on. Anyway, Puff Bode, I'm sure the club has slightly more restrictions than on clothing. Yeah, that sucks. It's not a nudist. The scary thing is, I can't tell if he's joking or not. I guess it would make it easier to tell, uh, to tell a few things about someone. Get back in there and finish up. Stop distracting me. Look like you're admiring yourself in the mirror to me. And where's your towel, Mr. Uh, Preachy? Guess I didn't think of that. Anyway, I still need a rinse. I can go change in the bathroom if you're not comfortable around me. You caught me in an awkward moment, Saul. Nothing either of us I haven't seen before. I saw a new conditioner bottle under the sink. Finish, uh, finish up quick. We shouldn't stand around all night like a pair of nudists. I mean, I like being nude. Wait, oh, yeah, there's the picture. Um, I'll have underwear, at least by the time you're back. I promise. Sounds fair to me. Just don't take forever, or I'll get, or I get to dress you. I'm very excited on the outfit before he gets back. Okay, I need an outfit that really expresses me. We better cut down the options. I'm a dude. It's been my way my whole life. Now there's things down. Now the wardrobe on the wall. Uh, T-shirt and comfortable pants. That sounds good. Hmm. What's a cami? I mean, if ha I do own a skirt. Because it's kind of hot. Well, maybe not with my kind of body. I mean, I'm a twunk. So it's a bit... I think... You know how there's femboy, think femme man. When I, you know, skirts. There, you're looking acceptable for the public eye now. I do have those kinds of thin arm warmer things. Came very useful when I went to Colo uh, not Colorado, Chicago. You look good too. Ah, oh, thanks, Husko the Blank Slate. Well, we both dolled up. Time to put it to good use. Let's get going then. I decided to let Cody drive since he knew the way. He was such a regular and had dated one of the mounters briefly that we didn't have to worry about watching the line uh, when we got there. 
Oh, so are we driving through Vaporwave or something? Or Vice City? It was one of those clubs. Once the staff knew you, you were fine. Otherwise, you had to be very patient to even get see the inside. We drove through the illuminated side of town. The sun, now well on its way to setting. Nightlife bustling all around us from the bars and waterfront restaurants. Could we get reassuring me? Then they had to have a blast. I think he could read my nerves pretty easily. I got myself into this without really thinking through. What if the club filled what if the club filled with the type of guys Cody liked to date? I mean it's probably filled I mean there's lots of guys. He's not always the best judge of character woe. Well. He can be way too nice to everyone, and I'm certainly a bit more picky. I suppose technically, Kobe had his long-distance boyfriend to anchor him these days. Oh, so it's not like his long-distance boyfriend dumped him, it was just a short-distance boyfriend? I mean, I feel like having that person dump you it wouldn't be too hard, it's just a piece of ass, you know? Or something to cuddle. Anyways. But he wasn't exactly looking for uh, to head home empty-ended. His boyfriend knew uh, that what a free spirit he was, and had some sort of agreement. Do we have enough audio on me? I guess so. Maybe talk a bit louder. Uh, whilst they're apart, Cody seemed to find someone who'd take advantage of his carefree attitude, though. Always seemed. On the flip side, I could probably try to be more adventurous if I didn't want to spend all my time trying to block out the sound of Kovi having fun with all his boyfriends. With his local boyfriends. Back at the line, kids. If I see another cut in line, you'll be kissing the curb. Hold up, don't dragonize this cutie. Eh, Cody. Sorry, champ. I didn't see you there. You and your friend can come in. Thanks again, big guy. Whoa, this is really cool of him to let us in so easily. I knew you were friends with the bouncers, but I didn't realize it was that close. I mean, he probably fucked him. I have been through uh, my friend Virgence. It's a long story. Let's just say, he has a soft spot for cute guys. It do be like that. A simple, I did him a favor would have sufficed. I just appreciate you getting us in. I've never been in a club like this. It wasn't exactly, I wasn't exactly experienced in the club scene at all. Honestly, I didn't want him prodding, eh, prodding me about it and psyching myself out. Anytime. Hey, I'm gonna go dance for a bit and hopefully catch someone's attention. If you need me, just come find me. Have fun exploring around. Alright, Cobes, go have fun. I'll come see you if I get bored. If he goes, already rocking his hips to the music as he disappears around the corner towards the sound of the pulse quickening beat. I didn't want to smother him or cock block him if he needs. If me and new people was gonna cheer him up, I might as well look around and figure out what to do from there. Okay, what, how are we on time? Okay, this is gonna be a short one because, you know, this game has been out for a while and whatnot. So let's see. Okay, I guess there's like fame. No, wait, I think that's the person, the person that made this game dated. Anyways, yeah, there's like, it's not random, the character, it's like, I mean, this is a character, I think that person's character always like Nubian and Jackals, but I know, you know, that's a person that likes horses, but you know, for a random who doesn't like horses. So I guess I'll spend the idea, I'll talk about the mechanics of the game, because it's like, you, besides him, because you can fuck, you know, your step Buddha, you go on three dates, well, I think it's like here, and then you meet them twice, and then uh, the third time you go and fuck them. And then that's the end of that. And you can call them for a booty call. So let's see, you can do your brother, you know, right off the bat. You've got this girl right here who's a cosplayer who is pretty shy. You've got him who's a rider who's pretty shy as well. Um, minor spoilers. This guy's a bit harder to get because you have to say the right things or else you lock him out. So, you know, save often. Let's see, who else can you get at? Do, do, do. I always found this thing weird where it's like, yeah, there's a mouth at the end of the tail. But it do be like that sometimes? Also, there's a lot of avians in this. Like, 
You don't see avians as much in the actual furry fandom, but in this game there is quite a bit. You also got, I think her name's Mercy. It's surprising that I know, you know, furry names more than like actual people names. Um, but they're trans female? Yeah. Um, you get this guy here who is DTF, but also has an abusive boyfriend. You got this guy here who is even more dumb, but then also has a bad boyfriend. Let's see, where else? You got her who is kind of like a MILF in a way. Like, she is down to fuck, but she, it's also kind of like, um, they don't want their heart broken kind of thing. I mean, nobody wants to have their heart broken, but you know. Let's see, who else? I thought there was quite a few bit more people. Hey, you got them, and it's this whole thing where it's like, hey, they're androgynous, but then it's... You know, they're a bit wild, but they're androgen. <clears throat> and well, androgynous isn't two separate things, but it's like, um, but it's, but you get to choose what, um, gender they are. Is there anyone else? I thought there was more people. I guess it just do be like that. Sometimes. Uh, let's see. Can we get this guy's number well? And I'm going to not read this stuff because, you know, we can skip past it. Because if I fail, I fail. If I don't, I don't. Bogan Morris, beverage. Beverage me. So I think flirting locks him out. What a drink. Alcoholic. And you're supposed to get something like, hey. Ooh, I guess you click down here. Ask about him. Introduce. This what job. Eh, back off, I guess. Why well, Morty sitting down? Surprise me. Yeah, he dropped it. <laughs> Leave it in like kind of with disgust. So did I get a number? But yeah, you, when you, you know, get people's contacts, you do that and go, Hey, wanna meet up and stuff? Hmm. Can we flirt? Can we flirt more? Ah. Uh, damn. Uh... Comfort. I can't remember what exactly um, gets you to get his thing. Oh, okay, so it tells you about stuff. Hmm. Oh, wait, it was not that. Oh, for some reason I thought that I was hearing that stuff in the background, that music, and I was like, is somebody on the door? Flirt, bake off. Stare in awe? Disgust. 
Well, I don't know how to get him. But maybe you would. Let's talk to... Not really Femboy, but Twink. Yeah, Twink would be the word. By being known in nightclubs. Eh, we can skip it. You know, we're at the 30 minute mark. Let's skip out the scribbles. It, sexuality is really weird, because I like Twinks. I just don't really see myself fucking them. Making out with them? Sure. Hell yeah. But being a Dom on a Twink? I can't. It's hard to really see myself doing that, you know? It do be weird like that. Yeah, here, because he's gonna get some tail. Not even reading. There you go. So you do that. Go on date. Delete contact. Man. You do be like that sometimes. Uh, how do we go home? You just go outside? Brother, I want to go home now. I'm scared. Man, you yet. Did that fun at MFF. Dance pretty for hours. But, um, boy, my leggies and my knees hurt. I don't think it's so much of an old thing, it's because most I'm mostly just a, you know, most of my moving's in my hips and my knees. And hey, I guess I don't have to censor anything, hyena. Why don't I help? Secretly get a sign book. And Kobo Jing. Yeah, going on a coffee date sounds like absolutely awesome. Because there's just a good amount of times where, you know, maybe like good amount of times where I, you know, go with a friend or something like that, and it's like, hey, time. Hours pass by and we're just constantly talking, and it is a lot of fun. I'm clicking on things and not even reading them. Speedrunning. Ooh, ooh. Smooching boys. Made an expert boy smoocher. What is this? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah the, I think I'm gonna call it. I mean, this game's been out forever. I don't need to, you know, go into large laborious amounts of doing stuff. But yeah. Anyways, end of this quick look. So if you actually want me to play this game, tell me and I'll put it on the list and put it give it a point to put it higher up so we'll go through it sooner i guess i mean i've done this on my old channel and i know all the story beats except for how to get that lizard guy but it do be like that um yeah and i much prefer to play other uh what is it visual novels like um Oh, that one where the guy had PTSD about maybe fire or something like that. Or if, remember the flowers. Or mm, there's a lot of them. But yeah, if you want to play this game, it's a little free somewhere on the internet, I guess. 
and you can get it on Steam, I think also for free. And yeah, comment, guys, I like comment, sims, you like, dislike, tips, like, always. If you like made you, oh, I lost tracking. There we go. If you like made you, and like, say, grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out the videos too. I'll grow, and please remember to spay new animals to help control the pit population. And until next time on Let's Play. Me. For a quick look. Me. Game rule 6 of some other game. And let's bring that random number generator upon the list. Random. Oh yeah, someone suggested me a game. Which reminds me, if you want to suggest any games I do quick looks of, tell me. Oh wait, I didn't put Lush Shards in Quick Looked. Whoops. I liked that one. I would like to do that one. Let's see, Midnight Wolf 1, Other 2, Honor's Tale 3, and Wayfinder 4. Didn't we get... Oh, I guess we might have added it to the list, but we didn't actually do that. Let's take a good hot second. A hot second and do that. Fuck, where is it? Before you depart? Oh, that is a weird looking one. I mean, somebody suggested it, so I'm gonna down a world it. Canons are after companions for life. Some can even be companions in death. Oh, but it's SFW. Hmm. Well, anyways, uh, hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Let's put that as number five. Random number generator pick number one, which is Midnight Woof. Which is good because that's like, what, an hour long kind of like pool party, I guess? I think somebody said that. But I'd have to check. So Midnight Woof is next. So, yeah. Uh,. Have that next week because I kind of made these things go like one per week because I don't have a lot of these. Because doing an hour long visual novel thing is rough. Anyways, until next time, quick look. Me, me, six, next time, midnight wolf. See ya.